How we doing there, YouTubers? Welcome to Shenandoah Valley Motorcycle Adventures. I'm Big Daddy Chuck. We are going to do something special today. We are going to try and figure out how we can do two of my favorite things, ride motorcycles and go fishing. Uh, we are going to mount a fishing rod holder on the old Honda ADV 150 here. Uh, so uh, stick with us, we're gonna be right back. Okay, folks, we're back Chuck here. We're back in action. We're going to uh, go over some of the things we got here today that we're going to try and use uh, to mount a fishing rod holder on this ADV 150. Um, we started thinking about this oh, about a month or so ago, and uh, I hadn't quite figured out how I was going to do it. But I knew I had to figure out something. So I've seen a lot of things like uh, you know people taking a PVC pipe and uh, putting things together and mounting them on like pickup trucks and in front of Jeeps and you know things like you see mostly around the beach areas and stuff like that. But you know, I want to find something a little more simpler and something that was removable, ba -ba -ba, removable, as well as uh, doesn't take away from the bike. You know, it doesn't look all bulky. Uh, you know, the scooter still looks, you know, basically factory as you can see. I haven't done a whole lot to it. I added some uh, of the uh, silver Honda wings on the side there. Finally found some of those. I think it made the bike you know, jumped out the rest of the lettering. So in order to try and keep it stock, you know, I was, well, I was thinking, just trying to keep that together. So um, I've seen a picture of a fishing kayak and then that's, that's when things started spinning. So uh, I started looking at how they were attached and I came up with this idea. You know, I'm not sure if it's been done before, but it's what we're gonna try and do here today. And uh, I hope you stick with us and, and, and uh, see how we get this done. But I've got two different brands of uh, material here and basically we start with this this is made by uh, rail blazer this is your standard rod holder um, it is the male end um, it does have a couple of nice features here for a longer rod you know you can have a stop you know raise it up or down and this is what we call the uh, don't get you know don't lose your fishing pole uh, slide here and I think when you get that on there it's gonna it's gonna work pretty good so um, and of course, we're going to take a real close up of all this before we start tearing off these packages and getting things going. But it all starts with this track gear right here. You know, this 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 gear track is everything. And uh, the the, the Railblazer uh, track system was just a little bit too wide, and I thought it'd be much too wide to try and put in this little slot right here because uh, if you feel underneath, there's a couple of gussets there, and we're trying to mount something right here in the center. Uh, of that and stay within the perimeters of this. I don't want to hang it over or anything. So I found this from Yak Attack. Um, of course, everything we got here, we purchased off Amazon. Uh, we're not sponsored by anybody or anything here. Uh, we're just, you know, looking for something that's going to work. And I think it's going to. So, uh, you know, this is the female end here. And everything has a little slide here, as you can see. It, it, it just, you know, it's got a quick disconnect here. So you can leave this on or off, uh, as well as disconnecting uh, the, the the rod holder from uh, the mount here and I've got two of them here because I wasn't sure where I was going to mount one or two but uh, we, we want to just start with one and see how it goes and so we got some hardware here went to the local hardware store I got some uh, 830 seconds one inch bolts which I think will work fine uh, I had to make sure that the head was going to clear the track the inside of the track you know we got to make sure that that Slide, uh, you know, was able to slide through there, and I decided to try and go with some wing nuts or wing nuts, depending on what part of the country you're from. But uh, we're gonna see if we can get them in there because you know, in this little area here, it's almost like a channel, like a two, you know, you know, C channel. And I think that wing nuts is gonna keep me from having to put a wrench or try and get a socket or something in there to uh, to tighten it up. It's just gonna do it all for me. So um, hopefully that'll work too. And we got a special uh, secondary bonus out of all this when I started doing research. I found this uh, mounting hardware, which is basically the same thing that's attached to here, attaches to the, uh, to the track. Uh, this is basically this, just the hardware and it'll tighten right down on it wherever you want. Well, the fantastic thing about that is, you know, that quarter inch, well, it's, it's the same size as all your selfie sticks, the same as this Insta360 camera. So we we'll, should be able to mount that right on there and get some uh, some of those decent crazy shots that you can get from the air or from the side of the bike, uh, however you want to mount it. And uh, you know, you want it up in the air and 
and everything's removable. So, you know, I figured, hey, if we can get this to work, you know, we got two things uh, for one. So, uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to cut this. We're going to step away for a moment. We're going to cut this track and we're going to get her in the old vise and cut her. And as uh, you can see, our tools for today, uh, we'll kind of go over that with you here. Um, you can also look at some of these part numbers on here for some of you out there to do like I do. I'll find that part number and I'll take a quick picture of it and uh, go looking for it. But everything you see here, uh, purchased right off of Amazon. Uh, like I said, we're going to need some Loctite. Once we get it in there, we'll, we'll go back and take care of that. Uh, we're going to need the hammer and a center punch here for when we start those holes. I don't want this drill to be sliding all over the place. Uh, we've got our speed square here, so we make sure we get that 45 nice and neat, uh, nice and neat when we cut it. We've got a little folding jab saw here. i got a couple of different blades. I'm not sure. We'll get going on it see uh, which one's going to work better. i got a 10 and a 14 tooth, but... Uh, this old suction cup vice here. It's great because you can, all you need is a hard surface, man. You can take that anywhere you want, but you know, some of y'all might just put a clamp on it and cut it or hold it with your hand, but I would not recommend that because she will bounce on you. And uh, so, uh, either way. Um, so, uh, stick with us. Um, we're going to see if we can get this thing cut and. Uh, get some holes uh, drilled and uh, start mounting this thing. So stick with us, we'll be right back. All right, folks, big day Chuck back here. Uh, we just got our piece cut. We've got her mounted on here. We've got the holes drilled, everything's looking good. We're gonna take this mounting bracket here, uh, which is the female end. And this has got a little slide here that goes back and forth. And that's what locks this in. And you gotta be careful, as you can see, there's two different levels here. That gray ring's gotta go right in that circle right there. So make sure you push her all the way in, lock it in, and then it should stay right in there. You can see we'll pull up on it and she'll be nice and tight there. So as you can see, she's not going anywhere. And push her all the way down in there pushing the tab you can see she is nice and secure and for the real test all right put the old fishing pole down in there slide that over and as you can see it's got a little cut there and that's going to securely hold that right in place right where you have it and we're just going to take a little small bungee strap or whatever which is what you see a lot of people use uh, when they use those pvc pipes like i mentioned earlier and that's going to run it from right around here, right around this knob, and that should keep it from, you know, going out of there, blowing out anywhere. But it'll keep it nice and secure. And uh, I'll think it'll work. And hey, man, if you're sitting around by a body of water and you uh, just feel like sitting on your scooter or your motorcycle and, <laughs> and just uh, toss a line out, well, you can angle that anywhere you want and just uh, point it in the right direction. And I think you'll be just fine. So, uh, Anyway, folks, I appreciate you sticking with us. Um, like I said, we'll uh, post a link with all the material we've used here today um, with uh, part numbers and so forth. Got everything right off Amazon. And like I said, uh, you know, there's probably more ways to, to do this, but this is the way we did it, and I think it's going to work out fine. Uh, once again, uh, thanks for sharing. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, please like, subscribe, and comment uh, so we can try and keep this thing going. Appreciate it. Big day, check out.